transformation, because I'm from a social policy background, to me it means a more comprehensive way of policy process. Transformations in practice, I'll give you an example. For example, in China's more recent environmental policy implementation, it means that you you not only look at the environmental protection, but also look at the other side of the pol policy implementation. For example, the social impact or the potential social impact of policy implementation. I think it is not very easy to appeal for public attention at the moment to pay attention to the social impact of green transformation. So what we, we did was to, we organized our first tea lab, the transformative lab in China, trying to bring all these stakeholders together to talk about the issue, to talk what's going on. And I think that that is a very good approach for all of them. Well, in Hebei, which is a neighbor, neighboring province of Beijing, and the, the heavy industry was considered as the main resource of air pollution in Beijing. So actually all the industries were shut off, were shut down in, in Hebei province, and millions of workers were laid off during the last three or four years. In, in this process, the social impact, apparently, their livelihood is a very apparent social impact of that policy making and transformation process. But unfortunately, their livelihood has not been considered in policy evaluation. So what we are doing in China is trying to promote their voice can be heard by policymakers. Uh, we work with multiple stakeholders, including local laid off workers and the previous factory owners, as well as gov government officials, in both, both local government officials and the high-level policymakers, and also scholars, me local media and civil society people. I think currently we are trying to do transformative labs, the tea labs, trying to bring changes. And at this stage, we can observe actually the policymakers, their awareness of bringing social impact into consideration has been improved gradually. Okay. I'd, uh, I'd like to see, um, as I said, a more comprehensive policy process. And currently, actually, the, the Chinese government is trying to arrange to consider the, the social impact into the whole package. And they are making efforts. As scholars, I think we should try to help them to be aware of what's going on in the field. I'm quite positive about the future. I think China is. In, in the still in the rapid development process, and of course there are challenges, and I think we are trying our best. Of course, we include multiple stakeholders, both policymakers as well as scholars and local government officials, as well as the lead of workers themselves. We are trying to find a more sustainable way for our livelihood and development.